always seems to be one rule for the elites, like the Prime Minister and his lackeys, and one rule for the common man, like you and me, don't you think, folks? Case in point, just as Canadians across the country suffer under the deadly shadow of the coronavirus pandemic, the Prime Minister seems to think it's kosher for him to openly flout social distancing rules and take his family to a cottage in Harrington Lake and gloat about it on social media. But when an ordinary family, who all live in the same house, by the way, want to go inline skating in an empty parking lot in Oakville, Ontario, oh, no, 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 that's not okay. That's verboten. You see, stories like this have become the norm in Canada and across the Western world, in fact. Here, check out this story of an individual in the UK that actually had his door kicked in. Right, listen to us. Hello. We've got to call, haven't we? Because we've got to come, otherwise, right. there, there might be something going on here, so <laughs> right. we need to double check. I appreciate what, what you're you saying want? about social distancing, so I'm yeah. keeping the distance. Yeah, off. Right, so we need to check the room to make sure nothing's going on. Go, 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 stay name? away from me. What's your name? No matter. Well, we're going to find out anyway. What are you doing in the house? Look at the f***ing state of this! Huh? British f***ing police! Look at the f***ing state of it! You f***ing knobheads! Wow, I can forgive him for such salty language. And what about this individual who was literally pulled off a bus in Philadelphia? On public uh, transportation. If you do not have a mask, you cannot ride public transportation, sir. Sir, you have to get off the bus, you have to get off the bus. You have to get off, you have to get off, you have to get off, let's go. I have to get off? Yes, sir. Even though I have it. You don't have no mask, let's go. Let's go, you gotta get off, let's go. Let's go, you gotta get off, let's go. So you see, every single day, folks, we're hearing stories of law-abiding citizens, families, really, who are being ticketed and fined by overzealous police and bylaw officers for simply doing what the Prime Minister is doing. And we're not talking about the rambunctious house parties that fly in the face of social distancing and make a mockery of us all. Oh no, we're talking about people who are being fined for going out for a walk? And we're sick and tired of this double standard, so here's our plan to fight back. If you've been fined during this pandemic for no good reason, please click here to contact us in confidence. You may be eligible for free legal defense where we will help you fight that ticket. Now, we reserve the right to select and fund cases at our sole discretion, and we will request your appearance on air to promote your case, of course. But this is an opportunity like no other, a chance to correct this country's wrongs and to stand up for the little guy. And folks, if you haven't been personally affected, but you'd like to help out, well, please chip in whatever you can by visiting fightthefines.com. That's fightthefines.com. Thank you so much. Now let's get to it. Hey folks, if you've been unjustly fined during this coronavirus pandemic and you'd like us to go to bat for you, then please go to fightthefines.com. That's fightthefines.com.